Sa lesson natin ngayon, matututunan natin kung paano kunin yung inverses ng isang 2 by 2 matrix. Dito sa aking example, we need to show that matrix A and matrix B is an inverse of each other. So for example, given an A with a 2 by 2 matrix na negative 1, negative 1, 2, and 1, at matrix B na 1, 1, negative 2, and negative 1, ipoprove natin na itong dalawang matrices na to ay inverse ng isa't isa. So to do that, we just need to show that AB is equal to the identity matrix, and the identity matrix is also equal to B times A. So how do we prove, or paano natin ipoprove, na yung A times B is equal to the identity matrix at kapag ka Nireverse natin yung ating matrices na B and A, magiging 1, 0, 0, 1 pa rin yung ating product. So, let's prove it for A times B. So, yung ating matrix A, which is negative 1, negative 1, 2, and 1, if we multiply it with 1, 1, and negative 2, and negative 1, mapapansin natin tulad ng mga rules na ginamit natin doon sa previous lat previous lesson natin, kung ilang number yung columns yung inyong second matrix, yun din kadami ng copies ang gagawin mo para doon sa iyong first matrix. So, we have two columns. So, we will copy negative 1, negative 1, 2 and 1, which is our first matrix, twice. So, 1 and 2. And then, yung ating first column will be multiplied across doon sa ating first row and second row. At doon sa second matrix natin, Imo-multiply natin yung ating second column na negative 2 and negative 1 across. So, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 1. And once na-set up na natin yung ating uh, matrix, pwede na natin siyang simplify para makuha natin yung product ng A and B. So, we have negative 1 plus 2, negative 1 plus 1. Yun yung ating first set. At yung second set natin is negative 1 times negative 2, which is positive 2. 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2, negative 1 times negative 2, which is positive 2, and negative, positive 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. At kapag sinimplify pa natin siya, yung ating matrix, or yung product ng ating matrix, will be 1, 0, 0, 1. So therefore, na-prove natin yung ating first half, na yung A times B is equal to the identity matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, all we need to do is to uh, multiply... B and A, and tingnan na kapag minultiply naman natin yung B times A, magkakaroon pa rin tayo ng 1, 0, 0, 1. And this is how we show how the product of B times A is done using matrix multiplication. So, two columns, two copies ng first matrix. Yung first column multiplied across on the first set, at yung second column to be multiplied to the second set, simplifying your matrix, meron kayong negative 1 plus 2, negative 1 plus 1, 2 minus 2, and 2 minus 1. Na kapag sinimplifying nyo further, you'll have 1, 0, and 0, 1. So therefore, yung B times A natin will also give us the identity ma matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 1. Therefore, na-prove natin na yung inverse of a matrix natin is parehas para sa A and B. So, ito yung ating proof para makuha yung ating inverse. Now, yung sa susunod na example naman natin is malalaman natin o matututunan natin kung paano makuha yung inverse ng isang matrix given by a 2 by 2 matrix. So, ito yung ating rule na gagamitin sa pagkuha ng inverse ng isang matrix. Given matrix A na A, B, C, D, ang inverse ng matrix nyo is equal to 1 over the determinative A times, mapapansin nyo, na nag-iba yung mga entries ng ating matrix. So, ang unang gagawin nyo lang is to switch A and D or yung first o yung main diagonal, switch their places, kaya nagkaroon ka na ng D and A. Tapos yung inyong second diagonal, li-leave nyo lang yung C and B, but this time, it's a change nyo yung sign into negative and negative. So yun yung rule ng pagkuha ng inverse ng 2 by 2 matrix. So A inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant of A, switch the main diagonal, and change the sign of the second diagonal. So let's have our first example. So we have here two matrices, matrix A and matrix B, and to find the inverse of these two matrices, gagamitin natin yung ating formula. So to find A inver inverse, una natin gagawin is hanapin yung determinant no matrix A. So your matrix A natin is 3 times 2, which is 6, negative 1 times negative 2, which is positive 2. Subtract them, the inverse will be 
4. Now, gagamitin na natin ngayon yung formula ng pagkuhan ng inverse ng matrix. So, we have 1 over the determinant, which is 4. So, 1 over 4 times yung ating transformation ng matrix, which is papalitan natin yung position ng 3 and A, and then papalitan natin yung sign ng second diagonal. So, we have here 2, 3, and then 1, 2 with both positive sign. So, once na-change nyo lang yung inyong matrix or na-transform yun matrix according to the formula, just do scalar multiplication. So, multiply 1 fourth to every entry in your matrix. So, you'll have 2, 4, 1 over 4, 2 over 4, and 3 over 4. And further simplifying your fraction, yung inverse ng ating first matrix, which is matrix A, is 1 half times 1 fourth, I mean 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 half, and 3 fourths. And that is how we find the inverse of a matrix using this formula. Now, for the second matrix, ganun din yung gagawin natin. Una natin nga hanapin yung determinant no matrix B, and then use the formula. So, finding the determinant of matrix B for our first step, 3 times 2 is 6, negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6, subtract them will give you zero. So when your determinant is already zero, so hindi nyo na mahahanap yung uh, inverse ng matrix kasi yung ating matrix B is now proven to be not invertible. So yung B inverse natin does not exist kasi hindi natin pwedeng invert yung ating matrix B. So yan yung pagkuha ng mga inverses ng 2 by 2 matrices using this new formula.